Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Dr. Shilpi here and in this class we will be talking about disinfection and sterilization of the instruments and the clinic area after the treatment or after managing a patient in this COVID-19 situation. So in the last class we had discussed about how to go about managing a patient in this situation. So uh, coming to the disinfection and sterilization of instruments. So uh, the first uh, kind of instruments, the critical instruments who are, which are heat, heat resistant the critical instruments which are used to cut bone such instrument need to go uh, a thorough uh, uh, you know sterilization procedure and autoclaving needs to be done they need to be cleaned they need to be sterilized by autoclaving and if any instruments that can be discarded they need to be discarded then coming to the second type of instruments which are uh, semi critical instruments which come into con do not come into contact in contact with the bone or something or not they come in contact with the non intact skin or the mucous membranes so such instruments they need to go a high level disinfection which are heat like heat uh, sensitive instruments they need to go high level disinfection and we need to immerse them in two percent glutural height then uh, the third kind of uh, the other kind of surfaces the high touch surfaces the surfaces which are mostly touched by the doctor and the patient during the treatment they also need to be either covered by um, some uh, you know some barrier needs to be some cover needs to be placed which can be discarded after each patient if not that then they need to be cleaned by sodium hypochlorite or um, 70% alcohol can be used for cleaning such surfaces coming to the cleaning of other surfaces in the clinic they can also be cleaned by using sodium hypochlorite or hydrogen peroxide and uh, then coming to the cleaning of the floor uh, the cleaning of the floor uh, that needs to be uh, done by a, a multi-bucket technique so first it needs to be cleaned by a normal water then it needs to be cleaned with detergent and then it needs to be cleaned with a diluted solution of sodium hypochlorite or hydrogen peroxide then uh, the last thing is uh, any kind of, any solution that's remaining that needs to be discarded it should not be stored for use again then uh, the last thing is the mops that with which we are using for cleaning. They also need to be heat uh, disinfected. They need to be uh, infect, uh, disinfected at 80 degrees centigrade and dried. And uh, from time to time, they need to be dis uh, discarded and replaced. Then one very important thing is that any kind of uh, uh, disinfection fogging needs to be avoided. So uh, because it hasn't uh, been, uh, it's not found to be effective in uh, killing these viruses the coronaviruses and all so that is why we need to avoid any kind of uh, uh, chemical disinfectant fogging in such cases so that brings us to the end of the class so if you have any doubts or queries you can leave a message in the comment section below and if you want any other topics to be covered that also can be mentioned in the comment section below and thank you so much for watching thank you